So I just have them out at the park. We're just working on some leash walking. It's raining today, so it's pretty quiet here. There's no, no one around. There were a couple of people walking and some kids earlier, but we'll see. Um, so while we're working on our leash walking, I have them on my hands free leash just clipped to me here. And I'm using some freeze dried chicken. He seems to like it. So I'm feeding him in left heel position here. And I'm keeping him on that side. Um, he can sniff the ground. Good. Um, when he checks in with me visually, yes, then I mark that and I'll give him a little treat. Oh, good boy. Um, as long as he's keeping the right pace, he can walk and sniff. If he starts to, good. And then as soon as he checks in with me, then I'll. So we're rewarding engagement with you, basically. He might have to pee. I'm just going to let him have a little snaffle. Yes. So in busier environments, obviously he's a little less, he's a little less focused. Good boy. Very nice. So we had him, I had him up at the busy park, um, day before yesterday and he was like pretty excited <laughs> and, and he's nervous of new people too. So, um, I had some kids give him treats and some big kids he's more comfortable around than adults. Um, this way. Good. So I tell him this way when I'm going to change direction. And I'll use the direction change if he starts to pull ahead. So at the busier part, he was a little... So if he goes a little ahead like that, I'm just going to stop. Bring him back. Yeah, he was a little distracted at the busy park. He got a fur out of place. There you go. Um, oops. Again. Pulling ahead. Good boy. So he's just going to go for that leaf there, I think. Good. Good job. So if he pulls ahead and hits the end of the leash, I always stop walking and then I'll encourage him to come back into left heel position. So I'm using a food lure to get him back. Okay, let's go. Good job. Yeah, I know he's going for that leaf. A leaf lover. Leaf lover. That's a nice little sit, but that's not what I want. Get off. Yeah, this is more what he was like actually at the park, that jumpy, a little bit jumpy and overexcited. Yeah. Did you just get pumped about that leaf? That leaf just take you to another level? Slow down. Good. So I'm just going to give him a little leash pressure to remind him to slow down because he's going a little too fast. Good boy. That's very nice. That's very nice. Well done, handsome man. Nice to see your facey. Nice to see your eyeballs. So he can sniff, but I don't want him trying to drag me over to sniff stuff. So if he does, if he starts hitting the end of the leash and trying to drag, I don't want you walking with him to go sniff stuff, okay? He, he's never allowed to pull you places. You can decide to let him, and you can stop, and he can hit the end and kind of sniff around there if he needs to. I notice that when he has to poop, he kind of hits the end of the leash and he pulls until he finds the right spot. So um, he can unlearn that. Good. Thinking that he has to pull to find a good spot. Which is not accurate. Let's go. Good boy. So let's go to keep moving when we stop to sniff something. Eat. Good. Nice little set. So I'll use weight occasionally. That's what I use at the front door too. To ask for a nice little held set. Yes. Good boy. Very nice. And I'll keep rewarding that for a bit. Because he has a bit of a short attention span. Good. Sit. Good. I notice at home too, if I'm training with the group, he has a hard time holding everything for as long as some of the other dogs. Which, I mean, he might just be a little more ADD or he just needs a little more practice. Good boy. Yeah, so there's some people over here getting out of their car. He's kind of interested in that. Great. Good boy. What are they doing? Sit. Good. So, oops. Good. So it's okay to look, um, but you're still sticking with me. I don't want him trying to walk out the end of his leash. Lighten up. Good boy. Very nice. Good job. Okay, let's go.